So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I had some people go ahead and email me and say, hey, time for streaming. The batteries in my Fire Stick remote are being drained so fast. What can I do? So stay tuned. I'll show you a couple of different options and hopefully it works. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So I'm hoping that some of these options here will help the people who asked me about the batteries being drained so fast on their Fire Stick remote. Now today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. If you're looking for a new device, go ahead and check out my description down below. A couple of different links in there. Click on the link. No extra cost to you, small commission to the channel, and it does help out. Keep bringing you some more videos. I really do appreciate it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and check out the voltage on your batteries. Your regular standard batteries is 1.5 volts. If you're using rechargeables, they're 1.2. So you want to use like a battery tester, or maybe you have an ohm meter. You could go ahead and test them out that way. Now there's that's step one. Now step two coming right up now the next thing you want to do is go ahead take off the back cover of the fire stick remote take out the batteries put them on the side and wait for about maybe one minute okay so that way it does clears up everything with inside the remote now after 60 seconds go ahead put the batteries back in just make sure you follow the direction of the batteries you don't want to mix them up else it'll never work and if you still get that same message on the bottom right hand of your screen saying that the batteries in your remote are low, then put a fresh pair of batteries in. Try that also. Make sure you use a good quality battery. Don't use something really cheap because it'll drain real fast and then you'll just keep getting that same message all the time. You gotta come back with another method. So now the next thing that you wanna do, if you tried everything else, you're still having an issue. Just go ahead and unplug the power to your fire stick. Give it about 60 seconds. And while it's unplugged, you want to go ahead and press three buttons on your fire stick remote. You want to press the hamburger menu or the one with the three lines. You want to press the back button. And also you want to press the left directional all at the same time. You want to hold that down to 10 to 15 seconds and then go ahead and let all three of them go. Once you have done that, go ahead and turn the remote over, take off the back cover, and then go ahead and take out your batteries. Now while the batteries are out, go ahead and power back up your fire stick, give it about a minute, and then what you could do is go ahead and put the batteries back into your remote. Now once you have done this and you put the batteries back in, you're going to go ahead and have to hold down that home button on your remote, it's the one that looks like the house, for about another 10 to 15 seconds. Then the LED on your remote should start flashing or stay solid, and you should get a message on your fire stick that says remote paired. So if everything fails after all the steps we just been through, then there's one other way we could go ahead and try to resolve this. Grab your laptop, go on your computer, on your fire stick, your tablet, your phone, whichever one you have that you want to use. And what we need to do is to go on to Amazon.com. Once you get onto the Amazon webpage, then you want to go into the search area and you want to type in contact us. Once you type in contact us, go ahead and you hit on the go button. It advances you to the next page. Come on down to where it says contact us chat. Go ahead and give that a click. Once you get onto the next page, come down to where it says the first one, contact us. Go ahead, give it a click. Let the page change, and then I'll show you what to click on next. Once you come to the next page, you want to click on where it says Kindle Fire or Alexa. Just go ahead and give it a click. Now, got to sign in. Let's go ahead and sign in. After you sign in, you got to go ahead, be redirected to this page here. Go down to where it says Fire TV Devices. Go ahead, give that a click. Scroll down to where you see device not working or damaged. Go ahead, click on it. So once you click on that it was damaged or not working right, it's gonna switch the page, it's gonna give you a video, and just go over some of the things that we just did 
and we know now that it's not working so what you want to do is scroll down and then click on i need more help let's give it a click so here you have two options you can start chatting with them now or you can request a phone call where they'll call you back and then you could go ahead and tell them that you have an issue with your remote and it keeps draining the batteries you followed all the steps and it's still not working so hopefully once you chat with them either on the chat or the phone call and you tell them that hey my remote's still draining the batteries hopefully they help you out and maybe they'll go ahead and replace the remote for you or they may have some other steps that are not listed here on their website or what i went through best of luck to you i hope this helps that's it for today thanks for watching click on that like and subscribe ring that bell this way you know when i do put up some more videos leave your comments down below let me know if you had issues before with your remote with the batteries being drained and what happened and remember day or night it's time for streaming